Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out a request from Quaternary called Inexorability by Fumbly Bumbly. Medium hard difficulty. I decided to challenge myself by making a conversion gel map. It's an element I very rarely use. This is also my first time using Bmod. I hope it pays off. Important note, the Yellow Fizzler is a matter inquisition field. It acts like a normal fizzler, but when you pass through it, it maintains your portals. Optional, find and take the companion cube to the exit. Music used, trials by Harry Culligan. Please report any exploits and such in the comments, your feedback is appreciated. Alright, well, let's get started. Alright, oh, also, let's see, seal... I think... what was it? Show... Thanks, Hugo, it is literally just called Crosshair. <laughs> Apparently. Not seal draw hood, as some of you were this suggesting. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Interesting. So we can't get back up there anymore. And that button opens the exit. This button turns off the light bridge, interestingly enough. I do like these flanges here. Very nice flare. There's no music in this map? Really? Huh. Okay, that's why, so... Yeah, that's- that file is missing, it's not packed into the map for some reason. Alright. Cause I do not have Bmod installed, and I don't have Mel installed either. Or... Actually, I do have Aperture Tag installed, but... whatever. Oh well, I guess we'll be without music for now. This is a moving platform, really? Okay. What does this do for us? Ooh, we're gonna get conversion gel there, and then we're gonna use that for velocity, I see. Interesting. Why does that look different? Alright, so, let's take this, and... I don't know, go down there, perhaps? We could also try using that. Yeah, that's not gonna do us any good. We can't get it through the Fizzler right now. Oh, look at that! I did not even notice there's a companion cube up there. Right. Did I read that and completely forget? Yes, there's an optional companion cube in this map. I totally read that and immediately forgot about it. My bad. Alright, well. Let's, uh... Let's do this, shall we? Uh... Yeah, we need to go through this way, actually. What does this button do? It doesn't appear to have any signage on it. So who knows what it does? Ah, it does that. Alright. Can we just get conversion gel over there? Yes, we certainly can. Alright, now what? Does it auto-respawn, I wonder? Let's go find out. Oh well. We have warehouses nope. full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Go ahead and grab another one. Yeah, it goes high enough for us to grab it there. But, as it juggles, it gets lower and lower. Alright, well, let's head up here for now. Why would we want to turn off the light bridge? Oh. I see. I see. Oh, there's also this I didn't even notice. So, it looks like we're gonna want to juggle ourselves, but we need the light bridge to be off in order to do that. How might we... do that? That's not helpful. There's not much we can do with this, right? Yeah, as I expected, not much we can do. We can get a little bit there, but... <laughs> to no avail, really. And even if we could put a portal there, it would do us no good. Alright, well...
this could work. Yeah, this could totally work. I'll put the cube above the button. Oh yeah, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Or why didn't I think of this a long time ago? Uh... There, that's good enough. That'll do. So if we walk backwards from there, and then all we gotta do is... save and continue. Oh crap, well, I... It didn't jump just right there. So let's go ahead and load our quick save. We don't have to worry about the music because, you know, there is no music playing right now. That is a freaky avatar, I should mention. What is that? I don't know. Alright, let's see here. Alright, hang on. Let's just think about this now. Here we go! Crouching got me up here. Don't actually have to jump. You just gotta crouch. That's something I learned from my no jumping map. Alright, so. Here is our matter inquisition field. Now the question is... What do we want to do with that knowledge? Let's find out. Ah, we can try this, maybe? No? Oh yes, actually. That's actually exactly what we want to do. Although, we cannot actually place a portal on there to get the ceiling. Alright. What about this? How does this work? So it stays where you leave it. Interesting. Why would I want that? <laughs> and how will I put a portal on there with the gel? Joe can't go up there, right? Yeah, it's not high enough. Or, you'll- it's too high, the gel's not high enough, is what I meant to say. There's nothing else in this room that I'm missing? What if... Save... and continue. Whee! Oh yeah, that totally works. You can totally save and continue. Alright, so, now, place our green portal here, and then we place black portal over there temporarily. Yep, there we go. And now, theoretically, we should be able to do... Oh. Maybe, maybe we start from the back, it'll work better. Does not launch us high enough, but... Ah, yes, duh. Of course. Well, I need to start from the back, because of course I do. Because Valve decided that face plates need to launch you differently depending on where you start from. Alright, so, we have a black portal here. Hey, fancy that. Alright, so. Great. Now I need to figure out... Oh wait, I need to do that with the cube. I need to get the cube. Okay, I need to go stand on this button again. Cause this is how we're gonna get the cube over here. Get all the way over there, please. Thank you. And now... Let's see here. Oh goodness. Holy crud. Yep. There we go. So let's see. Oh! Faith plate of doom. Doom and gloom. Let's try this. So we'll do this. If I can even get in the portal, that is. Oh my goodness. Why is this faith plate so hard to use? Okay, well that worked that time. Alright, so then. And I didn't even put the cube where I needed to put it. Well, <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Let's 
put the cube here, where it needs to be. Thank you. And, uh... Center it. That'll be good. That should work. Let's get through this portal, please. Wow. 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 Welp. <laughs> that was really stupid of me. But at least I know that's a possibility. Alright. I need to adjust this portal, please. Face it that way. Thank you. Save. Continue. There we go. Now. There we go. That's what you have to do. Careful. Get over here. Alright, so. Now what? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? I don't actually understand why I just accomplished. Have I gained the ability to loop the gel? Is that what I've accomplished? Maybe. Wow, I can't believe I made that. I'm trying to think if there's a better way to do this than having a moving platform like this, but I actually don't know. Alright, let's see here. We'll do that. There we go, we've got gel looping. Now I just hope it remains stable. Because, theoretically... I can do... this. Hopefully that's enough. Might have to do that again, unfortunately. Woohoo! That's a lot more gel than before. Alright, maybe this will work. Let's see here. Bam! Hey! Success! So, now, companion cube. That's the next goal. We've gotta do basically the same thing. Save, and eventually this will pick us up. Here we go. I'm not gonna speed this up with the gel going, because sometimes speeding things up causes the gel to misbehave. Just gotta walk all the way over here. We gotta aim and fire. We will hopefully get enough gel up there. Yes. All right. Forgot about that little... that little nugget of information. <laughs> the light bridge is in the way. Huh. How might we combat that? Also, it's entirely possible for me to get gel on the wall there, but whatever. How could we do anything about that? We would have to have the cube back on that button, but I don't see how we could do that. I 
Alright, well... I'll leave the companion cube as a mystery for another day. Right now... Right now... We can solve the puzzle. I believe. Pretty sure. Take this through here. I think the only medium-hard aspect of this is the... Uh... Is figuring out how to get the companion cube, because the rest of this I would consider easy-medium, or just medium in general. Yeah, not easy-medium, but definitely medium. Alright, so... Portal there... Portal there... Go put this on the button... And let's pretend I didn't just fall off like a moron. There we go, that's how you're supposed to walk down off a ledge. There we go. So then we do portal there, and here. Ta-da! Not sure... Not entirely sure how I would go about getting... Oh, duh! I'm an idiot. Haha! <laughs> We don't need a loop gel in there anymore, we can loop gel out here! Yeah. Why did not... why did I not think of that? Oh, but I need the cube. Well, <laughs> I guess we might as well get the cube then. Alright, so... Uh... No, I need to go down here first. Yeah, we need to use the cube to get the cube. That's... that's... yeah. The cube is required for getting the cube. There we go. Plonk it there... Gel... Gel... Actually, let's... let's do it... this way. There we go. And then... Kerblam. Hey, Companion cube acquired! I like that. Let me... let me add that to my favorites already. Companion cube! Hello! Alright, so... If all goes according to plan, should be able to just do... this. Oh man, it almost fell off. I'm glad it didn't. And... Alright, so now. Take this off. We... we head up there. Uh, actually, let's just use this. Yeah, that's much easier. We'll pull through the cubes up there this way. Get over here, I'm too lazy to walk. Yeah. Okay, I need to go up there first. What am I doing? I am all sorts of confused. Portal... Eh, whatever. Eh, whatever. Portal there and there. The regular cube... on this button. There you go. And then we need to get back up there. Pretty much done. Alright, last things last. Oh, this actually landed right side up. How convenient. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!